Hey guys and gals, it's Coop3G here, and I thought we'd go ahead and do something a little bit different today. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at The Forest. Uh, this is another early access game, it's been out for a little while. Um, I've played a few um, rounds of it, um, but this is a brand new game that I started just specifically for you guys. Uh, so we'll look at it and let me know what you guys think. Um, so you start out basically, um, there was a cutscene before this which I skipped through. Uh, you're basically in an airplane, it crashes into the forest. Um, there's a little kid sitting next to you, I don't know where he went. Um, flight attendant. Hey. I want ginger ale. I guess she's not waking up. Service sucks. Um, so yeah, so this is another um, survival type game, uh, except in this one, you face uh, cannibals. So yeah, ooh, iguana. Hey, come here, you little bastard. Damn it, stop running. Let me freaking cut you. I failed again. What else is new? Um, but yeah, so this is not like an open world procedurally generated game like Seven Days to Die. This has a persistent, well not persistent world, it has a set map. So, um, basically you... Though I've never seen a spider before. Oh, I guess you can't kill it. Anyway, uh, so basically you just you gotta find the the game's not over yet. It's still in in early access. So you basically you just gotta survive and not get killed by the cannibals for now until um, something else comes up with the. Uh, with the story mode or whatever the thing is. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. English. Surprisingly, believe it or not, it's my first language. I can't speak it worth a damn. Uh, but there you go. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to strike out on my own here. And we're going to see if we can find a place kind of close to the water. Um, while at the same time avoiding any run-ins with the locals, because uh, I need to get this blood off of me. Oh, look at that. We are right on the water. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, look, it's a boat. And that's the locals. The cool thing about these guys is dismemberment. You can cut all the pieces of his body off. Arms, head, legs. Eh. I'm actually just going to take his head. Because uh, there's been something that I've been wanting to do. Oops, that took his arm too. Uh, there's something else that I w There's something I've been wanting to do. Um, because there's this thing called a skull torch. And I want to see if oh, I was wondering if you get some like meat off of it or something. I guess not. What the hell did I scream for? Um. Anyway, uh, there's a thing called a skull torch. And I want to see if it's possible uh, to dry the head out and turn it into a skull. Because this regular head won't work. So um, there have been instances where people have found skulls. But I want to see if I can kind of create my own toilet type of thing. Get out of here, you. Alright. So 
got this little thing flashing down here on the bottom that says B to open survival book. So we will open the survival book. Um, getting started, blah, blah, blah. Blueprints to build structures, blah, blah, blah. So you can click that. It'll give you the basic stuff. You got your hunting shelter to get out of the rain. So we'll go ahead and build that. We're going to build that over here, kind of out of the way, because I'm probably going to build an actual base somewhere around here. Um, and then come over here and cut down a tree or two. All right, there we go. Cutting down a tree. Being Johnny Appleseed. Or the brawny man. Whatever you want to be. Timber. There we go. Uh, give me that. And you can carry two logs at a time. Um, you can also build a, uh, a little log sled. Log sled. Um, which will allow you to carry more uh, logs at one time. Um, but I don't have the patience or resources to deal with that right now. So we're just going to do this, cut down a few trees, um, and get this thing set up. Because it also functions as your save point. And if you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I need a save point. You would think with as much survival gaming that I've done, I would be a little bit better than I am. Yeah, not so much. Come on. Here we go. That's a big ass tree. So if a tree falls in the forest, no, I'm not, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. <laughs> why people still insist on doing that I don't even call it a joke it's just a bad saying that nobody has the answer to and probably never will because it's retarded um so yeah that was a lot of work for not very much reward um I need a rock there we go uh, get off me. Really, I almost got stuck by a freaking log. Between a log and a hard place. Or a log and a rock. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So C to save and Z to sleep. So we'll go ahead and save. Alright. So if you look down at the bottom right hand corner, you'll see a little, uh, a little diagram. The red is your health, the blue is your stamina and your energy, uh, the little teardrop is your hydration, your thirst, and the little, uh, it's, it's a stomach is what it is, and it's your hunger. Um, and saying that I'm thirsty even though I'm not really I still got like half a thing full but we are gonna go up the uh, the witch I'm gonna call it here because uh, I want to see if I can find a turtle because the turtle you can use a shell to collect rainwater um, and for some reason, it freaking rains all the time on this island. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but I need to. I need to do that. Oh my gosh! And it's gonna be on the other side of the freaking island. I bet. Oh come on, turtle! Why you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? Okay, well, I guess we'll go swimming, and hopefully we won't run into any sharks. Any live sharks, anyway. 
I don't think I can deal with the live shark right now. I might pee myself. It's a very good possibility. Um, you can drink, uh, like, just regular water from out of the, uh, the ocean and the little lakes and stuff, but they'll make you sick. So it's not recommended. Okay. Well, this is not good. I thought there would be, like, a beach just on the other side, but apparently there's not. That was a weird sound when you go underwater. Holy crap. Um... I wonder if I can get up there. I don't think it's gonna happen. I might be able to get up right there, though. No? Maybe? Come on. Come on. Yeah. 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 There we go. I think I've actually made my house up on this little hill one time. And then I was running at night, and I got lost. Yeah, I did. I made my house right on this little hill. Which I think is where I'm going to make my new house. Um, so hopefully we can remember that this is here. Because it's actually a really good place to make your house. Okay. Only thing is, like whenever I was there the last time... There were cannibals like all over the place, and I had to deal with like three attacks back to back. It was insane. So I don't know, there's probably a village around here or something. Uh, yes, the cannibals have little villages, and um, they will patrol around their village area. And if they find you, they will attempt to rip your face off and eat it because they're cannibals and that's what they do uh, so I'm not just like randomly swinging my axe I'm trying to get uh, leaves because leaves fuel your fire as well as cash if you find it laying on the ground um, ooh that's a long way down don't want to risk it I kind of do, because I kind of want to see what's down there, because I don't think I've ever been down this way before. Uh, I'll try not to kill myself. This will be a really short video. Um, there's a boat. Oh, crap. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I will take that. There's a boat. Um... So I'm going to show you the inventory because I need to eat something. So to eat this, you just click the left mouse key and your stomach will fill up. And then to drink some soda, it'll also restore your energy and then you'll see your stamina bar start filling up as well. Um, my head and my arm, uh, some of this stuff. Uh, I don't have any rope yet, so I can't make a, a bow. Um... This will actually work in multiplayer games. You press Q and you can talk to each other. Uh, your flashlight, the feathers, feathers are always good. Um, yeah, fun times, fun times. You can make like bombs and stuff too. It's really weird. Uh, here we go. Um, I don't know why these small rocks. Hmm. Ooh, can I get that? I can get that rope. That is awesome. Okay, let me see if I can craft a, uh, oops. Let's see. Bow. What else do I need? Some cloth? There we go. Yeah. It's crappy, but it works. Um... 
I think I need five feathers. I only have two. So yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, so I need more feathers. Um, why are you there? Go away. There we go. That's what I needed. All right, we're gonna see if we can hop back up this little canyon or cliff face here. Rock climbing, American Ninja Warrior. Shout out. Who watches it? That it's awesome. The new season is on, and I watched the Venice qualifying match uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, whenever it was on. I watched it. It was awesome. Uh, believe it or not. For you guys that follow it, David Campbell, uh, he managed to advance to the semifinals. However, um, he did not, for the first time in all of his years of competing, he did not complete the, uh, the qualifier. He fell off at um, the Silk Slider, I think. Uh, I guess he... He just his hands got in the way of his face and he fell and then Kevin Bull who is a freaking beast he cleared it in the fastest time of all this is what I was telling you guys about this is one of their villages and luckily there's nobody home right now so we're gonna steal some of their rope because I don't like them they've torn my face off one too many times uh, the interesting thing that they'll do, which I don't know if I'm going to get to show you because I may not suck bad enough this time. Um, what they will sometimes do is that they knock you unconscious. They will drag you down into a cave and hang you upside down like the uh, like Han Solo and um, The Empire Strikes Back. And every reason the... Or not Han Solo. Luke. And the... Uh, whatchamacallit. Not the Wampa. Whatever the freaking abominable snowman looks like. That creature. Uh, and I'm sorry for the noise. Um, there's somebody mowing outside right now. So I don't know if you can hear it. But if you can, I'm sorry. It should stop here shortly. Um, and if it doesn't, I will go outside and beat them until they stop. I'm not going to do that because then I'll lose my job. Um, I really need to get down to the beach and get a freaking turtle. All I want is a turtle. How, how difficult? Is that too much to ask? I just want a turtle. Holy God, that sounds like it's right outside my freaking window. Um... There's a beach down there, which I kind of caught a glimpse of. I don't think that's the one that I want, though. That looks more like it, though. That looks more like a beach that turtles would come up on. Oh, crap. Okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Jump. God, it's nighttime. really loud. This thing is supposedly has a pretty good uh, like ambient noise uh, thingy which shuts out the ambient noise. So we're going to test that and see if it actually works. Um, it sounds like they're going a little bit further away now. Oh no, they're getting closer. That's great. That's freaking fantastic. Alright. So, I wanted to get... What is that? Is that just like a shiver of... Sliver of light? It almost looked like a snake. Which I've never... I'd never seen that before. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit. A, I don't like snakes. And B, I'd never seen it before. So... I haven't played it in a little while, so they may have done some updates and stuff. I'm not sure. Um, I've been playing pretty much seven days to die just straight for 
the past several weeks waiting for um, Ark to come out. And you guys, Ark is looking insane. Oh, really? What happens if I go over here? Oh, I just, I can't go any further. Ain't that some BS. Well, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up this hill here. This mountain. I'm going to crest it, go back down the other side. And hopefully there's some more water where there may be a turtle or two. Because it doesn't want me to go that further, that far, any further, that way. You know what I'm trying to say. Uh, there's a bunch of trees. No beach. Here we go. Yay! I was turbocharged for a second there. Um. Hmm. This is upsetting. Oh, cool. I can block. Blow. Well, I guess I don't need to sleep, which is good. Oh, I need a turtle. Ooh. Uh, I don't know how these function at night. Because I've never been in one at night. I usually stay at my camp at night, but since we're out and about, I'm going to come in and check it out anyway. I don't have any more rope for me to steal. Little bastards. This is creepy. Hey, come here, you. I guess you can do like medicine and stuff with those, I'm not sure. What is that? Oh shit, that's one of the uh the bigger ones. Um that's a cannibal. <laughs> and he usually travels with a little entourage so I don't want to tangle with him right now at least not until I get a bow and some arrows set up oh my goodness guys I am sorry that this is so uneventful. Oh, I'm gonna die if I don't get some fire, 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 fire. There you go, see that little ice forming around the outside? That's no bueno. So basically, if I pull out my pedometer thingy, uh, that is the sound of a cannibal and I can't see him oh he's over there he's over there now he's running that way I think he's on fire uh, but it's 37 degrees Celsius which I don't think is that cold honestly Let's see if I can kill this. Uh... I saw an iguana, but he's gone. I don't know where he went. Okay, well, hopefully, um, Mr. Cannibal Person decided to go somewhere else because he saw the fire. I think he lit himself on fire, and that's why he ran away. 
They are not ter terribly bright, I don't think. Oh, here it comes again. It's coming back around. Get ready, guys. Alright. Come here, you. Come on. Freaking... There you go. Okay. So now we got food. We got food. And this can actually be used to... Like, increase your armor. So you kill a deer, and you throw that skin on you. Or you can use it to create a water skin. Um, and then you put that uh, lizard skin on you. And it, like, makes you uh, stealthy-ish. And really, we don't need anything else right now as far as like rabbits and stuff um I was watching one of the guys that I follow on YouTube and he was trying to figure out how to do the uh the rabbit traps the animal traps uh because he wanted he built an animal cage a rabbit cage and he wanted to bring back some rabbits to his house um so that they could breed and so you'd have like a, a permanent source of food, you know, like a reliable source of food instead of having to go out forever in a day and find, you know, or try to find a, uh, okay, so we're back. Oh, this is a different camp. Come on. There you go. I'm hoping to find some, there's a tennis ball. This is this game's version of Wilson. Uh, okay. That was interesting. Let's see if I can get this flashlight back out. Okay, so that was the skull that I just picked up. Um, we're going to pick up that cloth, but not the arm. And we're going to see if we can pick up some more rope. You can never have enough rope. Oh, looks like these are some... I don't know if those are some of our guys or some cannibals that met an untimely end. I don't know. Whatever they are, they're dead. So I'm not going to worry about it too much. I heard walking. And it wasn't me. Okay, so blueberries we can eat. The white berries are bad. You do not like to eat the white berries. Believe me, I've tried it. It's not fun. Like, the blueberries are the only safe berry in the game, it seems, to eat. Which makes sense. Like, I don't know much about other berries but I know what a blueberry looks like so I would feel comfortable eating that I would don't think I would feel comfortable just picking up any old berry off of a branch and eating it unless I was like really 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 hungry and like close to death starving okay well that didn't work out how I wanted it to. Um, we may get lucky and it may wash up some sea turtles up here tomorrow. But for now, um, since we're here and we got some time and some luggage boxes that we're opening up. Um, Let's just 
random freaking dead bodies everywhere. Go fetch. Um, here we go. Uh, B. All right. So we got absolutely nothing accomplished this this uh this round. Um, I'm gonna have to build a fire real quick. I'm gonna show you how to build a fire pit. some more rocks. Damn it. I need some bigger rocks, like some actual rocks that I use for crafting. Help me out here, game. Thank you. All right. There we go. So we built the fire to get dry because we were cold and wet. Um, you know, we'll take a quick look at some of the other stuff you can do. So you got your fires, your bonfire, your fire pit, your standing fire. So that's kind of like a torch type thing you can set around your camp to light it up so you can see the which I'm gonna call it, the candles when they come in. You got little cabins that you can make, little shelters and stuff. Um, tree house. Your storage, so your stick holder, your log holder, your log sled, that's what I was talking about, your rock holder, uh, weapons rack, explosives holder, medicine cabinet, snack bar. These are worthless, really, honestly. Uh, you can make your custom building with a big wall around your place. Um, stairs, tree buildings, defensive spikes. I don't know what the target is, I guess to practice your archery. You got your custom building, some more walls and stuff, so you can just kind of drag and, and make your building as big as you want. A stick marker, I guess that's kind of maybe to uh, remind you that you've been that place, or to maybe like uh, create a uh, marking to say, hey, this is how you get back to your your place, which I didn't know that was there, so that's gonna be nice. Uh, your climbing rope. Um, I guess that's if you get stuck in a cave or something. A little gazebo there, just some random stuff. Bed. That's the skull lamp I was telling you about. Uh, these are new. These didn't used to be here. So deer skin and decorative skull. Uh, you got your animal trap, your explosive wire trap, some more other um, bigger things, some bigger traps. Uh, your food, so you got a rabbit cage. That's what I was telling you about, that guy that was trying to make the animal trap to get to catch rabbits. Get your water collector, that's what I went to look for. That is very, very helpful. Uh, your drying rack and a small garden, which I've never used the garden yet. Uh, your boat. And a houseboat so you can kind of make a little small raft and sail around on the ocean uh, that's I just saw something oh no that's a bird damn it he got my hopes up all right that's let me kill him and I'll show you oh crap come on he's right he's right in front of you Oh my goodness. Thank you. Uh, so we can pick some uh, some feathers. Not very many apparently. All right, so we'll go back in here, take one of our sticks, five of our feathers, and we have arrows. 
and they go over here. There it is. That's what I wanted. That is the only thing that I needed. Alright. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up this turtle shell. Over here by my, my big fire pit that I can relight. Um, so I'll get my turtle shell. Am I blind? Where did my turtle shell go? Okay, there's my turtle shell. Oh, what am I doing? I'm retarded. I don't need that. I need that. There we go. Alright. So, we'll put this right over here. There we go. Now, what will happen is whenever it rains, this will fill up with water. I can drink from it. Um, once I get to go hunting, I'll take a deer. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, stop this video right here. Um, and then I'll be right back. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.